Well, actually, hmm. Yeah, I mean, you can set up a. The thing is, though, there's actually not that much space here for uh, to set up a nice lurking tain. Uh, it's not quite as good as a map like Empire of the Sun, where there's a nice open space for you to, to set up a, a lurker spread. And oh, nice snipe on the observer right there. Gotta watch out for the Templars, though. A nice storm going down, but nice storm dodging by uh, by jumper and or sorry by Kashu and Kashu immediately morphing all of the damaged hydras into lurkers. Of course, oh man, jumpers actually hold position in in lurker range. What's up with that? Jumper, what are you doing? Oh man, and storming late once again. Jumper man has really his storms are always so late. But oh, nice storms going down. Hey, anyway, what I was saying about lurkers is the. Uh, when, if you morph a damaged Hydra into a Lurker, it has full HP. Oh, as you can just see right there, uh, the Lurker spawns with full health, uh, even if you use a damaged Hydra. And it looks like Jumper's going for the buffs once again, but he's got not many units. More importantly, he's got very few Dragoons. A nice storm on a couple of clumped Lurkers. Can Kashu snipe the Observer? The Observer, it doesn't matter, actually, he's just going for the Templar. He doesn't care, there's not enough units anymore. He gets a Dragoon, can he get the Templar? He gets one Templar, last Templar. No, not going to get it. Not enough energy for, for a storm anyway. The Observer's back. But, uh, looks like Jumper actually got Observer Speed. That's definitely a Speed Obs after getting his Observer Snipe so many times last game. But Jumper looks to be in a horrible position. Are we going to have another 3-0 here? It looks like it. Looks like the Comeback Kid can actually just win with an advantage from the get-go. But it looks like here's another break attempt. Not many supporting units. The Observer has one shot left on it, but it's not going to go down. More Hydras though flooding in from the backside. No Storm. No storm for Ka sorry for Jumper. The Observer goes down. A couple of Lurkers go down, but it looks like... Oh no, the second Observer is not in time. Only Dragoons left. They need a High Templar to support. Dragoons do not do well against Hydras. Speed lots coming out here, but there are two Lurkers left. Kashu can just retreat to the safety of those Lurkers. The Corsair goes down, and it looks like Jumper is uh, is going to go down here. I don't, I don't really see what he can do. Kashu, the comeback kid, making the comeback in this game. After doing that fancy uh, Burrowed Ling strategy and having it defended by Jumper, but no, it looks like Jumper is going to break out the north side, but I don't think it's enough. Looks like the Observer, that Observer speed actually has helped him quite a lot. Oh, wait, no, more units coming in. I can't actually call this. Is there anything else going on in the Zerg base? Uh, nope, just macroing away. Looks like a couple of Lurkers defending the 6 o'clock, quite like that. And con continuing to keep his contain. I mean, it's 4 base against 2 right now. And Jumper's got to be getting close. Yeah, he's almost mined on his main. He, he was on one base for a long time. He might actually mine out these minerals and free the probe. That'd be quite funny. Anyway, three random Dragoons here at the top. But I think that's going to be the end for Jumper. Uh, he's at 1-0 against 1-1. He's got not many units. Not as many bases. Kashu expanding yet again here to the top left. Uh, Kashu, very aggressive with these expansions. Uh, he's on five base before 100 food. And looks like a storm going down. Nice on two lurkers, except it missed the back one somehow. It's uh, not so good. And is this going to be the last breakout attempt? Here we go. Oh man, leading with the zealots. That's not what you want to do against the lurker contain. Oh man, look at that. The lurkers, oh, sorry, the zealots running over a bridge. Oh man, evaporating. And the storms are not nearly effective enough. Five hydras for two storms. Archon being made. A nice storm on the bridge though, but Kashu with great reaction time. And look at that, immediately morphing the damage. Actually, the other guys weren't even damaged, but uh, two observers are out. But not enough Dragoons to break this. It's now, Kashu now has a supply lead, 101 against 94. And looks like Jumper just morphs the Temple. He's like, you know what? You know what? I know you're going to try and snipe it. I'm just going to make an Archon. Ha! You didn't snipe a Templar. Sure, you sniped an Archon, but you didn't snipe a Templar. He goes with a Burrow! The Manor Burrow! I don't know if that was a misclick, or if that was on purpose, or what. But he just borrowed all the Hydras. And Lurka's coming in the back here. It looks like the Dragoons... Oh, man, the Dragoons are in a line! The Dragoons are in a line! Ah, oh, Dragoon Skewers! But Jumper seems to be breaking out here. Uh, no, there's a lot of Hydras at the top side. I don't know what they're doing there. It looks like Kashi forgot about them. And Jumper is going to attack. He is going to take down this force, but more units coming in from the back. Has What's Kashu doing at home? He's got no reinforcements now. Looks like he might have just uh, forgotten. Oh, no, it looks like he made drones. Huh. But it doesn't matter because he's got enough units anyway. So, oh. Looks like. Nope, not going to get that lurker. So, Jumper. The Protoss who survived the longest in the ISL 1 all the way to the round of 8. Looks like he's going to go down in the round of 16 this time. 
I don't really see how he's going to come back from this situation. Uh, looks like top left base is down. A couple of sunkens. Uh, I mean, one thing I would like Kashu to do is have like one random link checking out the bottom right bases. You see, there's no vision over there. Uh, in theory, it's possible that Jumper took a hidden expansion there. Obviously, we can see that he didn't, but you know, Kashu might be smart to, to send some some juggling there. Looks like the storm catching some zealots. Kashu just doing some fancy uh, Hydra micro here, sniping one observer. More units flooding in from the bottom. More lurkers flooding out units. Queen's Nest is finally going down, so it is going to go up to Hive Tech, but uh, I don't think it actually matters at this point. And Jumper. Looks like. Oh! Kasha's actually running forward, going to snipe the 2 eye Templar! Oh man, Jumper's eye Templar! Ay, 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 ay. Not a good idea to be a high Templar in Jumper's army. And I'm kind of waiting for the GG right now. Jumper is uh, mined out at his main. Now sending down the probes, he's almost mined out at his natural. So, uh, yeah. Oh, it looks like he does have the third base going up. He's actually just going to distance mine this for a while. But... Kashu's on five base. His hive is going up. He can make infinite numbers of units. Service shutting down in one minute, but that's okay. Another gas going down. Kashu's going to be on four gas against two. Rather, two depleted gas. Oh, Jumper actually pulled the guys from this gas. I think he should leave two here. It's not actually mined out yet. He's got about 1,500 gas left in there. He should, uh, he, he really should leave uh, two more probes there. Because he's, he's actually, well, he's actually scra strapped for every mineral. Um, well, looks like uh, some probes going here. Still, Hydra's coming in here on the high ground outside the third. I don't know why Jumper's moving out there. Oh, it looks like he was trying to take the uh, 12 o'clock, but here we go! Hydra's moving in! Oh look at this! Kashu leading with a few Hydra's gonna snipe two High Templar! Yes, he will get them! Can he get the third one? I don't think he can. Nope, not gonna get the third one, but gets two High Templar. So one storm left for Jumper, and there's a lot of Hydra's. It's gonna have to be the best storm ever! That is a very good storm! But I don't think it matters. Far too many Hydra's. Look at this! Kashu morphing the lead lurkers, making like a lurker wall to defend his hydras against. Look at that! Look at that fancy lurker wall! And did you guys see that? He's just blocking the zealots and stuff. Oh man, that's actually really cool. Kashu being as fancy as possible here, also taking the bottom right base. I mean, he knows he's won. He can do anything he wants. Uh, Jumper is actually almost a thousand minerals. Jumper has left the game. G G G G G. I think that was actually a no G G from Jumper, because if Kashu's G G was saved. Uh-oh, no GG, Jumper getting 3-0'd out of the tournament. Kashu will advance to the round of 8. We do have a random player in the round of 8 of the ISL2. How exciting. So, another 3-0 here. And uh, I'm going to have to go and download another series. So, uh...